I guess we know what we have for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, the goose wandering around <laughs> the, the middle of nowhere gas station. <laughs> Greetings from our hotel room in Fez. And we had to change to get specifically one with air conditioning. Woohoo! Because out there is 45 degrees. And so we're gonna, we waited till the hot part of the day because I want to see what 45 feels like. Ooh. Also, I have to go back to change this book. Because look, lady gave me this book and some creatures are eating it. <laughs> A bookworm. Yeah. <laughs> Some bookworm absolutely demolished it. What is this? I'm sure. Oh, no, it feels hot though. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, okay. Uh, with the wind, it's like sauna. Yeah. Oh. Look, 44 degrees. Oh. Wow. So Back in the alley, I, I was like, ah, oh, it's fine, but now there's kind of hits you a bit. Oh! Oh, it's definitely hot. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So this is, you're so feeling it, this is what 44 oh. degrees, <laughs> it's, it's like, like a you, sauna. It's when you open the oven when you bake something. Yeah, <laughs> really. It's a familiar feeling, but it's literally from like this, the oven just yeah, blowing just in your oven. face. And then you close it up. Yeah, yeah. It's whenever thing. you're trying to turn the chips in the oven. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. It really feels like that. Wow, 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 wow. Oof. So this is Fez. It's windy, but it's a boiling hot wind. Wow, this is what it feels like. It just feels like an oven. Oh my god, how are they allowed to work? You want to know what Fez feels like? Yeah, these poor guys, oh my god. You want to know what uh, it feels like here? Just turn on your oven, 180 degrees or so, and then put something in there. And then after 20 minutes, go and check on it and just leave that oven open. With your face right up against. Here's the gate to the to the Medina. My T-shirt is roasting. We were told no one would be out and it would be unbearable, but actually everyone's still doing just fine. And it's not like it's endurable, but I guess, yeah. But also we have the, the air conditioning to run back to. If you had to, yeah, if you had to stay in this, maybe it's less, less fun. Huh? Pardon. So, I exchanged my book for a functioning version. Now we go try to find some food. At points I forget the, how hot it is, but then the wind just blasts you all of a sudden. Then you get the feeling. Oh man. It's endurable for a certain amount of time. But I think all day in this, I might die. For now, it's okay. Because we have the room. Yeah. Hey, but now you know what 44 degrees feels like. 44, 45. It's awful. It's awful. It's interesting though. Now whenever you see 44 degrees, you're like, that's okay. I know what it feels like. I can handle that. It should be illegal. I can, it should be illegal. <laughs> so we're gonna get a camel burger and see what that's like. <laughs> Exciting. That's gonna be funky. Yeah, many Yeah, many times. <laughs> when am I gonna ask this before? First time. I see now the problem with the heat. 
outside is okay, but now we still feel it. It doesn't go away. You should wear the inside with the AC. Yeah, there's AC in here and it's cool, but I still feel it on me. Maybe we got immediately burned or something. <laughs> Heat stroke. Yeah, your face looks pretty red. Right? Also, really. <laughs> And here is also camel tagine, which is more traditional kind of Moroccan dish. I wonder how this tastes like. Any difference? Just tastes like beef? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I expected. <laughs> Maybe it does taste different. A bit different? A bit. It's more chewy. <laughs> Ooh la la. As soon as you come back outside. The, the camel meat tasted just like beef, especially the burger, the tagine. Maybe it tasted a little bit different, but it's basically the same. Huh? It had a smell to it, no? A bit like, not camel, but I don't know. A bit camel? Different. It smells yeah. like camel. You know when you eat goat? No, I don't know when I eat goat. Oh, because goat smells. Yeah? Meat. <laughs> How many times you eaten goat? I don't know, one surprise. Why? Where? In front of the door. Oh, there's a fight. Which way we go? Okay. Uh, I think we. Oh. Don't know. Uh, I think we're going to. <laughs> I think we're going to escape the the heat. So I'll show more things this evening or tomorrow or something. There's plenty to see here. But right now there's there's no point staying outside now. Huh? Too hot. The heat is upsetting people. They come out with uh, metal poles threatening. When the wind blows, it really burns your eyes. You feel the same. The wind really burns your eyes. Yes. Yeah. It's really like a sauna. Oh, it hurts. Oh la la. It's evening and the sun has gone away so time for us to go outside and try and do something. It's still very hot and it's quite hard to breathe. I think it's quite humid also there's lots of clouds so it's a bit hard to breathe. A bit hot but it's more bearable. Being trapped inside all day with the air conditioner was giving us a bit of a headache, but <laughs> the outside air is not much better. It's not exactly fresh air. Fresh breeze. Ain't no breeze here. Car fumes. Don't know if these are the best alleyways to be walking at night.
it's a new day and we're gonna try suffer through the heat and actually see the town this time we're gonna go through the medina and oh careful <laughs> and try go to the tanneries where they tan the leather and everything but i've been warned that so many people trying to sell you things and that the smell is bad so we'll see how that goes <laughs> I think we're on the right path because we can smell something. Maybe this is not the right way. This is just like a bit murder. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Would you like to see the tannery? Tannery is this way, the leather place. Okay, but we don't need a guide. I love guides. No, no. Well, you're not going to get money. <laughs> okay. John, I, I'm not looking for money. If you look for money, I will give you money, my friend. Okay, thank you. Sorry, but a lot of people is like this. <laughs> the other guy got grumpy at me now because I accused him of trying to get money, but come on, that's what they all do. Smells really bad. <laughs> but there's no one working, it's because it's too hot. You have to come earlier, I think, to see people working. Yeah, there's just trash everywhere. Anyway, here they have dyes and pigments and things for the leather. Over there is where everyone else is up. <laughs> There's a couple of guys working over there, but... That's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Not as exciting as I thought it would be. Maybe if there's people working. Mm -hmm. But what is up there? Up there looks interesting. That was the tannery. I feel very bad because there's two people I accused of being scammers who was seem to just trying to be friendly, so but I apologized so it's not all so bad. You like the tanner? <laughs> In here it's actually not so hot because of the roof, I guess. We're here in the madrasa, which is like the the old university. Back in the old days look like this, huh? Much nicer. All the effort that went into every detail. You don't get this no more. Big cube concrete building is now. Huh? Here's your room in the madrasa. If you are coming to study philosophy or something, or medicine, I don't know. This is a curious window.
The Medina here has 2,400 streets. No, 9,000. 9,000? Yeah, not 1,500. Really? Yes, 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 yes. yes. It, it has between two and 9,000 streets. So we could wander all day, but I think we've seen enough. We just went down one straight line, so we don't get so lost. Are you sure we're still in the same moment? I don't know. I don't remember so much, but... There, Bab Bujud. Oh, yeah, Bab I know my way. Yes, I know what I'm doing. So. Um, yeah, I think that was, we saw the tannery, I mean, everyone was not there anymore because they started like 5 a.m. but I ain't going that early, sorry to tell you. Oh, hold on. People just stopped right in front of me. It's still around 40 degrees, but inside the narrow streets is much better. That's it from Fez, I suppose. I hope we showed enough things. <laughs> I feel a bit uh, bad about accusing the guys of being scammers, but I apologize and he seemed happy at the end, so... He was smiling at the end, so maybe it's okay. But we saw pretty much everything now. Not everything, there's still more, but the things that I'm bothered enduring 40 degrees to see. <laughs> see you next time.